What's up everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Thanks for coming in, I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. It really helps the channel out and you're able to go back and look at the videos that I've done over the past eight years. If you're already a subscriber, you know I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the reason that I'm able to do these videos. If you could, down on the bottom next to the subscribe button, hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. If you're using a mobile device, just make sure notifications are allowed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions, comments, or anything. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do today, we got an unboxing here. Uh, unboxing demonstration sort of thing. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this unboxing, it's not something that I'd really wanted to purchase, kind of needed to a little bit, but I'll give you the backstory on it in a few minutes. What I purchased is an Artec HB086 MB158 keyboard and mouse. They're both Bluetooth, uh, really inexpensive, cost 30 bucks for both of them. And the reason why I purchased these is, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I actually have a Windows laptop now. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been purely a Mac person for the last 10 years. I love Mac computers. Uh, you can't beat them. They're a lot more expensive than a Windows computer, but they last 10 times as long as a Windows computer. But what I've been running into is a lot of things that I've been trying to do lately with my home network and with doing some 3D printing. A lot of the stuff only works on Windows. So I have been looking for uh, a Windows computer, a cheap Windows computer. And I just got one. And basically what it is, and I'll show you in a few minutes, uh, my daughter had a laptop and she went off to college and yeah she destroyed it <laughs> in a matter of a couple of months she destroyed it the screen is completely blown out so what i'm going to do with it is i have a secondary monitor with hdmi uh, plug into the hdmi port of the um the laptop uh and i can all right right in the middle there my battery died oh it's got it's been a long couple of days here uh, sorry about that. Uh, so what I had said was my daughter destroyed her laptop. Uh, the screen is destroyed. I can connect it through HDMI to my secondary monitor. Uh, but the keyboard and the trackpad are a pain in the butt. So that's why I got the Bluetooth mouse and, um, keyboard. So that I can actually, it's called going to clamshell mode where you, you close the laptop down. You can still see it on the monitor and the Bluetooth still works. So what do you say we open up the keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. I'll show you what comes in the box. This one right here. And we'll set it up on the Windows laptop. So typical box, two flips open here. It's not gonna be anything special. Like I said, it's 30 bucks for the keyboard and the mouse. Uh, let's open this up. As you can see in there, packaged in plastic, a keyboard about the same size as the old um, wireless keyboards from Max. Max. Perfect, nice and small. And then we got the Windows mouse. I have a Magic Mouse for a Mac. It works, but the problem is, is the scroll scroll wheel in the middle does not work for the magic mouse so that's why I got this uh, also inside the box here got instructions oh something that says good and bad okay it's just asking me to share it with Amazon's reviews uh, bought it on Amazon so they, they want to get good reviews on it for people to buy but from what I've under I've read this. People are giving really good reviews, YouTube videos on this. Uh, also comes with a USB A to USB C uh, charging cable. Yeah, that's what it is. And 
that's it that's all that's in the box so what i need to do right now is i'm going to open up this uh windows laptop and i'll show you the number that my daughter did on this screen uh, so let's go over to to the computer all right so we got the laptop here it's a lenovo uh was a, a 15 inch monitor not heavy on the walls uh as you can see on the top here i don't know whether that's picking it up the scratches <sighs> yeah yeah it wasn't too happy with her on this one uh, she had to get a new laptop because when I open this you'll see what I mean so let's pop this open and that's her screen uh, so but uh, you'll be able to see up here let me widen out a little bit and see over here on the secondary monitor through the HDMI cable, it does connect. So that's how I'm going to use this. Go in there. Okay, and hopefully this keyboard has a charge to it. All right, so we'll open this up. Okay. There we go. Uh, quick hint, if you're not aware of it, if you're using a Windows uh, computer, if you do Windows key G, it will bring up basically the Xbox screen, which will allow me to record if I use wi Windows key Alt and R. So we'll go Windows key Alt and R. What we need to do is we need to go into our settings. And like I said, this trackpad is so sensitive, it's almost impossible to use. So we'll go into settings. Uh, we will go into devices. Okay. On the back here, we will turn this on. Like I said, hopefully it's got a little bit of juice in it. And it does. And let's add a Bluetooth, Bluetooth device. Let's see if it finds it. Press the F, N, and C key. Okay, that's for Bluetooth. And it'll blink blue. Keyboard. There we go, it's connecting. Okay, that's all done. Let's make sure that it works. We'll go up here. And we'll type in a bunch of Z, G's. There we go. All right, keyboard works. So now what we need to do, we need to do the same thing with the mouse. And on the back of the mouse, we have the on and off, and that's for peering. So let's turn this thing on. Hopefully it has power, which it does. And there we go. It picked it up right away. Is that good? Yep, the mouse works. Okay, so we'll scroll down here and make sure that the buttons work. Yep. All right, so that's all set. Okay, we're going to go to control panel. We're going to go up here and type battery. Enter that. Change battery settings, right? Yep, change what closing the lid does. Okay, so when it's plugged in, and I close the lid, I don't want it to do anything. We'll close that, and let's see if that works. I'm going to close the screen, the laptop here. There we go. So I can use this like a Windows desktop computer right now. So, that's it. That was the unboxing and the setup of the Artec HB086MB158 Bluetooth keyboard and mouse combo. Uh, works really well. Yeah, that works very well. I'm, I'm very happy with it. All right, everyone. 
that's it. That's the Bluetooth setup of the Artec uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Very easy to do uh, with Windows. I haven't used a Windows computer in about 10 years, so this is going to be a new learning experience for me. But if this is what Windows is now, heck of a lot easier than when I left when it was, uh, what was the last one I used? Windows Vista was the last Windows that I used. Much easier, much easier to connect. Also, connecting to the network with this thing was so much easier. So Windows has made a step in the right direction. Still not a Windows person. I love my Mac. Uh, I swear by them. They work so well. Uh, in any case, that's the video for this. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said earlier, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. You're able to look at all the videos that I've done. If you're already a subscriber, you guys are the reason why I'm able to do this. Uh, hit that bell icon on the subscribe button. You'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. Just make sure that notifications are allowed if you're using a mobile device. Otherwise, you're not going to get the notification. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll be back to you guys again real soon.